JA. Honourable Chairperson, Honourable Members, Fellow South Africans, the DA acknowledges that there is a great need to update legislation regarding the rights of performers, especially taking international developments into consideration. This bill is not in a condition to be passed and enacted. Rushing through legislation for incentives should not be the objective, but should rather be properly considered and passed in the national interest. South Africa should seek a Performance Protection Act that parallels the Beijing Treaty, the WIPO Performance and Phonogram Treaty. This bill will not meet these benchmarks. The Beijing Treaty and the WPT cover equitable remuneration for performers. This bill undermines and possibly removes freedom of contract to the disadvantage of both the performer and the producer, also making it incredibly difficult for producers to make investment decisions. The bill challenges contractual freedom. The key content of the agreements will be largely be determined by the minister, leading to heightened investor in anxiety as producers will not have freedom to construct contract contracts in accordance with the will of the parties. Sections of the bill make rights of authors inalienable and also watertight that the rights cannot be used, resulting in producers becoming more selective and contracting only with top caliber or safe talent, thereby reducing opportunities for other new artists. While this bill is, is progress in the right direction, it is not enough to achieve the goals of its intended purpose. The bill gives the minister and the government too much power when it comes to the relationship between an artist and their producer. That they understand the hearts of faced by performers and artists and why they feel this bill should be supported. However, history has proven that supporting a bad bill have consequences in future. The DA would rather wish to bring forward a private member's bill that would address matters of royalties. It is because of the rushed and sloppy nature of this bill's legislation process, among other factors, that the DA cannot support this bill. I thank you, Chairperson.